Hello, ladies and gents. So, uh, G4 TV, something which was not on my radar at all, being British. Didn't know what this thing was, and it's popped up on my Twitter feed. The most hilarious rant I've heard in a long time. FYI, this rant was posted out of context. But remember, ladies and gents, they literally just posted this without context. We stand with f Foreskin and the women in this space. I mean, your name's pretty close to Foreskin. Friskurin, whatever your fucking name is. Foreskin. We're just going to call her Foreskin from now on. Ah, uh, I should have put this at the start. I'm going to put this at the start and then going to cut it in. Anyway, so they posted this Foreskin rant and then just says, what a dope take. I love it. Come on, Foreskin. Like, what are you doing? So there might, there might be more to it, but all I get is this weird rant from this apparently massive, cool gaming thing. We used to be a big gaming thing. It's not anymore. Of this woman just ranting and raving and moaning about people that she isn't bangable and stuff like this. The weirdest thing. And FYI, there definitely is context there. But the own the company itself posted this completely, completely out of context. So my first and only interaction with this website, this gaming review conglomerate, is this woman just ranting and raving. Not a good look. Not a good look, because you posted it without context. So let's take a look, because I thought we could all have a good laugh. And it's, it's an epic meltdown. So here we have it, ladies and gents. Here is for, 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 for Kuren. Ah, oh, horrible name. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a listen. Sexism in gaming. In joining G4... That's all right, ladies and gents. Round of applause. Sexism in gaming, oh my god. She said a buzzword. Oh my god. Uh. Ugh. In, this is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Can confirm. I would not touch you with my pee pee. Not at all. Can confirm. It's somehow. Talk to him, Frost! Why are people applauding the fact that she's not bangable? Oh my god, it's brought up that I'm not bangable. Yeah, you go, go! What? It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. It's dehumanizing. Right. I mean, I'm sure some women would genuinely like to know if a man has jerked off over them. Like, in fact, I know some women like to know that a man has jerked off over them. I know that women like that. Some. Not all, some. Also, since when was it a crime for a man and a woman to want to be attractive to one another? Why have we reached this weird plateau on humanity where we're like, no, you can't, no, you can't like one another. No, that's not allowed. That's dehumanizing. Only because you're not attractive. Is that why? Bear in mind, this whole argument started off with her saying, people in the chat are bringing up that I'm not as bangable as the, as the last host. Okay. And then goes on a tirade about people jerking off to women. It's like, but they're not going to be talking about you, though, are they? So does this it makes you sound a bit salty there for not being jerked off to, which is a bit odd, but all right. And it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. More. You definitely do. They do. <laughs> they do. You don't. You don't exist to be nice on the eyes to me. However. I do appreciate a woman that is nice on the eyes to me. Like most men. Like most women appreciate a man that is nice on the eyes to them. No, they do not exist to. However, I guess you could say, you know, nature versus you know, nurture and society and how things have kind of progressed from there. Na na naturalistic level, we would probably want to be nice on the eyes to people, right? Is that not what we want? So I guess in some roundabout way, maybe we do exist in that fashion. Anyway. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. I mean, 
but Olivia Munn does flaunt it. I don't know who Morgan Webb is. But Olivia Munn definitely flaunts it because she knows she's nice on the eyes to men. I mean, you can, run, you can run your mouth as much as you want, but that's, like, it's an objective fact. What? Why is everyone applauding this dipshit? Oh, my God. Go get a better haircut. Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go... You have to hate women to be sexist? We're bringing in, like, misogyny and stuff like that. Can we ta start talking about misandry? Hmm? This constant hatred of men. Can we talk about that? Is that right? Are we allowed to do that? Men get objectified, like, a lot. I stood up on a stream the other evening. I got objectified. People talking about my ass. Right, I didn't go on a weird tirade about it. I just make a funny comment about it because it's funny. Go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's... Oh, are they, are they, is this some pronouns though? No, we, they, it's not, I know it's not. Coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's why we're X play and not Adam play. We have done the experiment and control this this dude, Adam Sesler, is an absolute tit. Goes on massive tirades calling anyone who's a Republican like a misogynist and racist and all this kind of nonsense. Just every buzzword under the sun. And he's also been um, videoed live talking about how much he thinks it's within his right to dox people. You're a prick, Adam. You're a scumbag. For the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happened. Yeah, they'll also get flamed, but my sexism. Is that really the argument here? What? Means to me when it does. Both things can be true, that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that all receive special flame just for being a woman. But you literally just said that the others receive the same treatment. Right, okay, fine. And I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play. Half of our producers and writers are women. But, but remember, ladies and gents, they literally just posted this without context. We stand with f foreskin. And the women in this space. I mean, your, your name's pretty close to the foreskin. Fro, fro, Froskurin, whatever your fucking name is. Foreskin. We're just going to call her foreskin from now on. Ah, uh, I should have put this at the start. I'm going to put this at the start and then I'm going to cut it in. Anyway, so they posted this foreskin rant and then just says, what a dope take. I love it. Come on, foreskin. Like, what are you doing? Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby. And Zipper. 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 Right. I would have referenced something on the screen that a lot of only British people would have known. But you get it if you're, if you're British. Goes on and on and on. Former writers... I'm sick of only Americans getting jokes. That's just a British joke. ...that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threats... She looks like she's about to cry. ...thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how... You no, it's because they don't want to objectify you. And, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not that they can't. I mean, they could. I mean, I'm sure people could maybe picture doing stuff to you. I mean, I wouldn't personally. I think that would be... You know, scar my brain for life. But, I mean, I'm sure some people could if they wanted to. You previously did to Morgan, or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something, but you can't quite put your finger on why, even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam, but you have no pro... I don't know. Oh, you just sound a bit illiterate. I don't know. You got crappy tattoos. Problem with he's part of it. You're letting your unconscious. 
or that people have mistaken you for Justin Bieber. I mean, one of the two, who knows? Biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If Yeah, but you're getting money though, aren't you, mate? I get it all the time. Like, you can't, you can't, you can't please everyone is what it is. Just gotta take it. You don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Yeah. Like, why do these meltdowns, these people that do these meltdowns, why do they always look like they're about to cry? But look at this woman. Letting your unconscious biases ruin my day and your gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Yeah. Oh, she's basically got a mullet as well. Not that there's anything wrong with mullets, but still, you know. Justin Bieber with a mullet. And everyone's just like, yeah, yeah, let me let me just pat myself on the back. Shut up. Yeah. See, she looks like she's about to cry. Why? Why are you getting so emotional? What was that? Ah, oh, does this make you want to punch people in the face when they do stuff like that? Watch. Right. Yeah. What? Ah, oh, God. Anyway, I thought we'd all have a good laugh at that. Let me know what you think down below. Take care.